Hey everybody. We just finished up with a litany of videos about how things are going at J&J &J Acres and a few people are disappointed with the animals being scaled back. That is a reasonable concern because some people joined just to see what lessons we are learning with keeping ducks, goats, rabbits, pigs, bees, and so forth. Since I haven't been forthcoming with much of a reason on why we are doing this, some folks are presuming that we've marked raising animals or homesteading in general as a fail and that we'll never do so again. I have thought about how best to express my reasoning behind why we are scaling back and have thought of a long list of analogies. I won't burden you with all of them. When someone flies past you on the road, clearly going way over the speed limit, do you mutter under your breath at them, or do you wonder if they're rushing to a family member who is at the hospital? Do you hope they make it to work on time so they don't lose their job, or do you imagine them getting in a wreck? Perspective is very, very powerful in art, in emotions, in our general understanding of the world around us. Choosing to question your perspective can open your preconceptions to consider other possibilities. Your original perspective could well turn out to be the correct one. However, it could also turn out that you couldn't have been further from the truth. I ask that you please always remember that this isn't the Truman Show. Three and a half years ago, I found a corner pin on our property using our deed and a cheap compass. I also put some hay down on the ground and decided to film it. J and J Acres on YouTube was born. Since then, I have selected certain things to share with you. These have been things that I thought would have a general interest, but were also things that I was comfortable sharing. I have shared successes and failures, but I have never, nor do I expect that I ever will, share all of our failures, nor all of our successes. Because of those omissions, your perspective must, by definition, be skewed. I strive to be an honest and morally sound person, and as such I hope that you would never question if anything I have ever shared, or will ever share, is a lie. However, I am also a very reserved person. As such, I am picky about what I actually choose to share with anyone, let alone with a world full of viewers. It may not seem so, but putting that first video on YouTube was very trying for me. It invited all of the judgment and scrutiny of anybody with an internet connection to virtually come onto my land and lambast my efforts. My efforts have, at times, deserved to be lambasted, or at least laughed at. I've laughed at a few of them myself. I mean, who buys a tractor and doesn't know how to connect the PTO from an implement? Well, it would turn out, a lot of people. Videos like that, where I share a moment of ignorance, turn out to be the videos with the most comments from people saying, thanks, I was struggling with that as well. Those comments encourage me to move forward and keep putting myself out there. It would seem that the majority of viewers are just along for the ride. They enjoy seeing what happens to be going on, good or bad, better or worse. Just an online friend to keep up with. A few enjoy pointing out poor decision making, an improper application of a technique, or other failings. And, sometimes, a single bad apple ruins the whole bushel. I know I am rambling a bit, but I hope you will indulge me. Several months ago, I said I would be expanding our apiary. A few months later, I said I would not be. That reversal of plans really bothered me. I don't like announcing that I will be doing something and then not following through. That experience has cautioned me to be more reserved about pre-announcing plans, especially not big plans, like a $3,000 expansion 
of our beekeeping efforts. At the peak of our duck count, and before our horse was killed, we were paying about $400 a month in animal feed. Some people just had a heart attack. There are, without a doubt, dozens of ways to go about feeding livestock, and many, many folks feed as much livestock as we have, or had, with much less money. We feel that we cannot. Not yet. I could continue talking for 30 minutes or more about why we feel that way, but I'm not going to. Yes, I could have my lamb bulldozed in a day and turned it to pasture. Yes, I could grow the greens necessary to keep small animals alive. Yes, I could cut wings off of birds so they do not fly over fences. In fact, I am sure there are a litany of things that we could do we are not going to. Not yet. It comes down to this. We have a big project in mind. Something we really, really want to do. To accomplish that goal as quickly as possible, we are eliminating all of the monthly expenses we can so that every dime possible can be put into savings. That's all there is to it. When we bought this land, we did so for a few purposes. We wanted to own our home, not rent. We wanted our home and land to be free of the restrictions of covenants, and we wanted to see stars, not streetlights. That's it. We hadn't heard of permaculture. We never planned to be self-sufficient. We were perfectly content with our traditional mortgage and our grocery store shopping. But in a few short years, our perspective changed. And now, a few years later, it seems better to hit the pause button and save up money than it does to keep trying to walk headfirst into the prevailing winds. I know that this message still leaves you wanting for an explanation and that many details are still missing. Know this, we aren't giving up on homesteading. We aren't giving up on raising animals. We aren't going to stop making videos. We are going to redirect the majority of our funds to a new project so that one day you'll be amazed and our dreams will come true. Thank you for watching. I sincerely hope to see you again next time.